Mr. Mark Golden, you know what dual citizenship? Are you a British citizen? Are you a citizen of Britain? Reality check man from your device and so you know it's a unique one aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, today my viewers and subscribers, Mark Golden have them under pressure. Mark Golden have them on the ropes. Mark Golden have them the tie with them. Mark Golden have them the tie with them. What happened, Jamaica? They cannot deal with Mark Golden. They have no answer for him. Oh, we go deal with this man. Remember, you know, Jamaica. Them used to take Mark Golden for tie, you know, game stack, gimmicks, laugh off of the man and them thing there. All of the gimmicks, they over. Because there's a different side of Mark Golden now. Where man just a walk and they tie with them. And they have no answer for that. So everything now, why you hear Mark Golden, Mark Golden, Mark Golden, he used to be bro God. So they are trying their similar campaign. So everything now then catch, then try to fling it at the man. So what are they doing now, Jamaica? It's a racism card. Them a play. Don't get distracted about the passport and British citizen. It's a racism card them a play. Because what they are doing is saying Mark Golden is British. And because Mark Golden is British, that's the reason why Mark Golden no sign off from Jamaica if it becomes a republic. But that's garbage, that nonsense, Jamaica. See, that's garbage, that's nonsense. As of 2024, 14 Commonwealth countries are still under the British rule. And the last time I checked, Jamaica is one of those countries. So if Mark Golden have a British citizenship and he have a Jamaica citizenship, the man is still in the Commonwealth. And nothing in our constitution prevent the man to be a parliamentarian. Because the Commonwealth law, you know, if you move to Jamaica and you live there for over, over a year, you have the right to involve in our politics. You understand what I'm saying? So just look at what I want. It is a race tactics. They may use because they are wounded and watch it from the local government election. The local government election wounded them, you know. And every day it gets worse than worse than worse. Them not have no combat. They not have no answer for Mark Golden. Mark Golden have them the tie with them right now. <laughs> So I have a clip here that I want to show that I run through my good friend Anessa Bell Rose platform and I see this clip. I'm going to just take you up and say, you know what? Now I forgot to dash something on it because I'm going to dash nothing on it, you know. But anyway, take it away and then after that, we'll dissect it. No, no, no. You don't, you don't force that for me. Come and go answer that. No, Mr. Mark Golden. You know what dual citizenship? Are you a British citizen? Are you a citizen of Britain? By any means necessary is a PNP playbook. We saw it 2007 to 2011 when, because they believed that Jamaica House was theirs, they sought to regain it by using dual citizenship matter. Marky G, declare yourself. Isn't this just another means of by any means necessary? Let us know, however. Which citizenship do you hold dear first? What the PNP president needs to do is to tell Jamaica whether he is a citizen of Britain. He should state this, that Jamaicans may evaluate where he is coming from. No, no, no. You don't, you don't force that for me. Yes, Come and go answer that. Yes. Cause what you want to hear is you the answer you want. You have to go and more be for that. We're going to play about this one more time, Jamaica. Listen to this. No, no, no. You don't, you don't force that for me. Yes, Come and go answer that. No, Mr. Mark Golden. You know what dual citizenship? Are you a British citizen? Are you? A citizen of Britain. 
By any means necessary is a PNP playbook. We saw it 2007 to 2011 when, because they believed that Jamaica House was theirs, they sought to regain it by using dual citizenship matter. Mark G, declare yourself. Isn't this just another means of by any means necessary? Let us know, however. Which citizenship do you hold dear first? What the PNP president needs to do is to tell Jamaica whether he is a citizen of Britain. He should state this, that Jamaicans may evaluate where he is coming from. No, no, no. You don't, you don't force that for me. Come and I go answer that. Because what you want to hear, if you answer what you want, you have to go on. Yeah, 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 Jamaica. My viewers and subscribers at home and in the diaspora abroad. Now, you want me to tell Mark G. Say, not the day. You don't need to answer to nobody, boy. And you don't need to answer to no long titty girl. And you don't need to answer to Warmington. Warmington, what you need for do is to come and tell the Jamaican people why you carry the young man over your yard and take out your nasty wood and broke pan him. That you need to come tell Jamaica dirty, nasty, stinking Warmington. Race game you know play. This is not all about no passport. And dual citizenship and citizen of Jamaica and Ray Ray. The last time I checked in 2024, 14 Commonwealth countries are still under the British rules. And Jamaica is one of them. So, what is your talking point? Rubbish. Rubbish. The man fling a stone in the hog pen. And the whole of the hog then run out now and the stream and the ball. That's how they go on. Mark Golden dash a stone in the hog pen. And the whole of the hog then now run out and the ball. So them come out with them simio campaign. Them come out with them racism thing. But as we say Mark G. You know, owe nobody boy no apology. You know, owe no long titty girl no apology. And I write this side there. If you are British, you are British. If you are Jamaican, you are Jamaican. This is the small axe, Jesse Royal, aka Natty Pablo, representing for Aromatic Realistic TV. Bon all back by it as the hypocritical to side as we call them modern day to that. A whole heap of we come from Jamaica and we're in a one different country now. So at the stone where you're dashing at the egg pen. And the whole of the dirty egg them are run now on a ball. Because they don't know how to deal with you. Because remember, you were once a laughing stock to the Jamaica Labour Party and the whole of them. Because what you do, you maintain your cool. You maintain your cool. You stay humble. And when then they take you for your laughing stock, you go and you study them. You do, you do your due diligence. You do your research. And now you resurface from them and they don't know how to deal with you. They don't know how to angle you. Them can't control you. You have them on the ropes. You have them the walk and the tie with them and that is their problem. Swim your campaign, bro. The Jamaica Labour Party no have no answer for you and the People's National Party. Them back is against the wall. Drown the dog. Grab off a straw. The blue where you lick them with. On the 26th of February. They cannot recover from it. And as the day goes by. It is getting worse. It is getting worse. So if you notice things that is not relevant. They want to use those things to keep 
in the media to make something of it. Nonsense, rubbish, garbage. It's the pressure that you have the Jamaica Labour Party under. And them don't know how to deal with it. So them send for all sort of manner of evil. Send for some big body, loose body boy. But you know, who are no fish, no compass got. No apology, big man. Right this way there. No long titty girl. No boy walk your no little boy over their house. And take out their nasty with a, 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 a fire upon them. You know, owe them no apology. Plain and straight, blatant racism. And that them I deal with. So my Jamaican people at home and in the diaspora don't get distracted about passport and English citizen and this and that. That's not it. It's a race car, them a chump on the man. But if him a white, shiny, Syrian, Indian, purple or blue, are the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. And at that one you can't deal with. At that one you can't deal with. You turn fool, you confuse. The 26th of February. Send up fever in our head. You can't get over it. It is getting worse as the day goes by. And you can't figure it out. Because the man that tie with you know. He might tie with you know. You understand me I said Jamaica. Jamaica is a part of the commonwealth. Our constitution. Welcome. The people from the commonwealth. And if you move from any one of these countries and come to Jamaica and you stay there for over a year, they cannot push you out of our electoral process. The constitution welcome you. A great Britain still rule is still the head of 14 countries. So what they must say are nonsense, you know, make no sense. The man have them upon the rope, them wounded. Mark Golden have them the walk and the tie with them. And the big stone where Mark Golden dashing at the egg pen. The whole of the egg they run out now on the screen. <laughs> All right, that's side. So anyway, big man, comrades, stay focused. Because you don't need to get distracted. Because this is all about distraction. Remember before the local government election, we said don't get distracted. When they come out and they talk about them poll and how much them are leading, I said don't get distracted. This is all distraction. Stay focused and keep your eyes on the prize. Right there, so there. You don't need to apologize and need to explain yourself to no big body boy. You don't need to explain yourself to no long titty girl. You don't need to explain yourself to no whole man. What a care little boy go out in the yard. Go broke off on them. You have them under manners. Heavy, heavy, heavy manners. Mark Wallin, you have them under manners. They don't know how to deal with you. Because everything then try them expose. Because you are a hundred step of them. And as them come with them little anky panky, you just expose them. And they cannot deal with that. 
because a different market G is on the rise. You study them, you know them playbook, and everything that they come with now, you counter attack them. Then turn fool mimic because they did not know the giant that they were playing with. And that is their problem, brother. You are the opposition. Your responsibility is to oppose and hold the government accountable. And all that you have done is exposing, opposing and hold the government accountable. You know, do not wrong, brother. You are doing what the Jamaican people put you there to do. To hold the government accountable and to oppose. So when people are run out by you, you have to ask, what is their motive? But we don't see their motive and we understand. And as we say, we don't take talk for no big body boy. And we don't take talk for no long titty girl. Right this side there. Madam, me. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share and follow us over YouTube. You don't know what to do. Touch the notification bell. So anytime I drop a video, you should be the first to know. Be well, my people. The signature word. Art of love. Art of love. Art of love. Right this side. Kaboom! Madam Me!